Hello again everyone, my name is Jogluk and welcome to episode 2 of this Imperator Rome run. Uh, we are going to be continuing with the Rome campaign we started in the first episode. Um, it's been a few days since I recorded the first episode and so I just want to take a quick stock of our current position uh, before I commit to uh, unpausing here. So I believe... Uh, I'm going to be going to war against Etruria next. Yeah, we still have truces. Uh, which we need to wait until they run out first. Uh, I also need this fort to fall when we take all this territory. I think... Ah, yes. Uh, so, <clears throat> I'm not a very clever person sometimes, and this clever person here completely forgot to save, so I have loaded an autosave, because <laughs> I was very tired after I finished recording the last session, uh, so I apologise, um, we're going to have to do a little bit more here, that's okay, this should fall fairly quickly, I'm not going to go 5 speed, although I kind of really want to, um, just because... It'll fall eventually, anyway. Mm -mm. Our fleet's moving into position, which will speed things along. No need. Siege is over. So we claim all the land. <clears throat> so I was advised by uh, someone on YouTube. Uh, that the best way to do this is in prison, I think it was. Uh, and then they are, uh, like anyone who's a genius, etc. Well, a genius is more from Crusader Kings, but anyone who has very good traits, you can just uh, liberate and uh, let them join your nation. But honestly, I kind of don't want to be too gamey with that sort of stuff. I guess it's not really... I don't know. I'm kind of set in my own ways, and I really like just uh, banishing them um, because the culture happiness is not great, sure, but I can bleed aggressive expansion so more quickly because each time I do this, I'm losing, what, two months worth of aggressive expansion? And then I can go to war more easily again and not have to worry about it as much. Important Anconian characters will be imprisoned by Rome. I suppose we can try it out, see what happens. Right, we drove, drove out the Gauls, so three pops, three pops. Uh, I think it's Senegalica I want to become a city. So I need to end the Etruscans, destroy the Apulians, and crush the Samnites. Uh, next up. Okay, that's given us a little bit more military experience, which is great. Okay, uh, Magna Grecia needs a new governor, so we're doing it basically the exact same moves as last time. Must make sure I remember to save at the end of this uh, end of this episode. Sure, they can have up to four holdings. I'm probably gonna have to strip them off of them at some point, but I do need the Senate on side so I can keep declaring war here. First November four five six, so we're only a few months away. We're going to be going against Sam uh, Samnium first, so we're going to be going south. Yeah, they're putting farms and stuff down for us. We like to see that. So I can't actually raise my levies again until 
next year anyway, so we're going to wait on declaring war. But what have you got? 4734. It's not really worth putting you in charge. Alright, we'll go with Lucius Papirius Cursor, just because you have the highest martial skill. Uh, we're not really anywhere close to actually getting another tech yet. Uh, Lavinium gets a granary, a library, or just 20 gold. Granary will help, considering it... Uh, yeah, that will definitely help. I'm also going to change to encourage trade in Latium, which will help with food a bit as well. Right, so I can raise again on 29th for the 3rd. So the end of March. Try to get as much food in Latium here as possible. So we keep running into food issues there, which is not ideal. So out of interest, where are the dungeons or the people you've um, imprisoned? So I'm not too sure. It's one of the other reasons, honestly. I just end up going for the other option. So I don't really know where you actually access characters you've imprisoned. I don't mind a bit of micromanagement, but I feel it may be a little bit too much for me. Ah, so just do this. Uh, let's see. Blood of Brennus. You're a polymath. Awesome. We like polymaths. Your intelligence. Now you're a scholar. Okay. So, if I go to technology. I think I need to like adopt him into a family or something. Uh, okay, five popularity, lose ten gold. Province of Latium will use this food. Losing the food isn't great, I won't lie, but it happens. Okay. Time to declare war. I'm just going to be using the main levy. To begin with, oh god, you have no military skill. He's a pretty poor consul. Right, I'm gonna leave my uh, allies to besiege here, I think. You know what? How about we do this? We're going to split in half. Right, 
We have one fort we need to besiege down, down here as well. So let's get into position to do that. Uh, the city should fall relatively quickly. Uh, 10 political influence for 6 stability is pretty damn good, I'll take that. So we win this war and then it's time to go up against uh, Etruria next. We look like they're having a bad time. Yeah, taking Corsica might be a bit of a pain, but not impossible. Do 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 <laughs> Sorry, that's just my girlfriend has a cough at the minute. Uh we're both a bit ill at the minute actually. Where's well, got a cough and I've got a cold. Have a new city up in Senegalica, so that's pretty nice. I need a new civic researcher. Uh, that's another person we can put in charge with intelligence. So. And with that, I'm just going to banish this time around. Uh, 15 popularity and Kona gets renovated temple, sure. That's the Samnites crushed. Uh, 6 pops, 5 pops. Yeah, I think Bovianum will become the next city. And now we're going to go gather ready for a push into Etruria, who seem to have dealt with their problems at war over there. I will need to bring my fleet round. I'm also going to activate my second levy, even though it's a very small force. Only 3,500 men. I'm going to need every one we can get here. Uh, they're going to have Gymnasia as an ally. Where is Tuskia? Oh, so it's just that area in general. Cool, that works. So at all costs, I want to keep Latium protected here. Have another import route and okay, this is not good, but Okay, we turn the tide. Our initial force is beaten back, but we turn the tide in the end. To return north. Oh my god, how many ships do they have? Okay, you need to get into port because you are going to be destroyed if you engage with it. I think we're just going to have to abandon Corsica. 
uh, well, abandoned plans of taking Corsica anyway. So my allies beat back a small force over there. Let's just import more food into Capua. Once this fort falls, I'm kind of shielded, so it's important that I get it. Uh, it's, and once this one falls, I'm pretty much completely shielded except right up in the north. There we go. Oh that's bad news. The Antigonids have been carved up. We should be okay here, thanks to reinforcements. Alright, the Seleucids have uh, grown a bit bigger. I'm not going to send any gold over. I don't really want to do that. I think I need to start developing food over in Latium, honestly. Instead of a barracks, let's have a farming settlement. a bit of an investment but uh, we keep getting starvation in the Latium so it will benefit us. I might be able to sneak a force onto Etruria but it's going to be risky. And if, I've any, uh, yeah, if they have any army over there I'd be in a bit of, a, bit of a spot of bother. I want to push west here, but I need to keep my army here for the siege. So they just have another 10,000 conscript force. Most of our forts have fallen, but not quite everything. I mean, I could hire mercenaries, but I kind of want to just do a campaign where I don't hire any. We win that one. I don't know where my allies are going to, but it's going to cost me time to retreat. Oh, they're going after the force that landed in the south. Fair enough. AI doing AI things. The 
I'll chase him down and destroy them, but I have a feeling I'm going to lose that fort. Right, let's march the main force back north again. And leave the secondary force. Uh, let's go Global Monthly Food Modifier and Morale of Armies. Both of those will be very helpful for us right now. Okay, that's going to delay them. I don't think reinforcements are going to get here in time. beat them back. Eventually. Gain tactician. Excellent. We're getting a little bit low on manpower here to say the least. They seem to have a lot more than I do. I do, however, have my first military tradition, which is excellent. Uh, I'm actually going to go for scaled walls. I really need you to come join me up here. Join the fight. Okay, we inflict some pretty heavy casualties on them again there. Invest in one of the cities. So Rome loses 150 quid, but Roma gets a library, two marketplaces, and 20 approval from the Boni. Sure. That sounds like a brilliant idea to me, honestly. Uh, we're going to import some urban wear for local freemen happiness. Full hit. Sure does. We've got one last four up here to take. I think the rest of our forces have actually retreated over to it. I don't know where they are. I was going to say, I thought they uh, sent them over to Corsica, but no. I'm going to just try and take the, the holdings in Italy proper and ignore Corsica for this war, I think. No, 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 don't retreat. That's a terrible idea. Where are you going, AI?
Okay. If this fort falls in time, we might be alright. Oh, it's going to be a rough one. I think we got them. Yeah, we do. And we're just about going to have enough manpower to take the take the fort here, I think. Okay, now I need to march and try and take over here. The reinforcements should allow me to do this. Yeah, we are indeed victorious. Try and chase down that force here, I think. I need a new character for our martial research. He's not as good, but he'll do. And we're gonna try and get greedy here. I don't think it's going to work, but we'll give it a go. So Navy will still be in the area somewhere. Uh, it's already carrying seven cohorts. Hmm. Managed to get everyone across. I'm hoping with the additional manpower here that we can win this. Rome gains claims on the province of Rugia. Oh god, no. Why would I want that all the way up there? Rome does gain pre stability, though, and we are starting to besiege their fort. Etruria actually has land over here as well, which is another fort. I should probably take that, but that will put me in direct. Um, opposition to Carthage very early on, so I don't know if I want to commit to that or not. And it is another fort I'll be, need to besiege. Oh, 
already using quite a lot of water score. Can I get military access? I can. Excellent. Let's just do that instead of having to rely on our navy. So, our force is uh, not looking so hot in terms of numbers. I think we've dealt with our problems with food over in Rome now, which is good. Oh God, there's another four over here as well. Uh, we have another innovation we can use. I think I might start going down Yeah, we're going to go down and start getting, where is it, gradual economic integration. But that'll be that for episode two, I think. Uh, so we don't quite finish the war of Etruria, but we're very close to doing so. Um, I think we should finish it in episode three, and it's just going to be a period of rebuilding uh, a few areas, and uh, just hopefully getting some more of these missions done. Well, that'll be up for now. Uh, thank you very much, everyone, for watching this uh, this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.